Mixed feelings, defined. Master the art of expressing ambivalence. Hello language learners. Today we'll be delving into a fascinating aspect of English conversation, expressing mixed feelings and ambivalence, particularly through the use of qualifiers. This can be a bit tricky, but once you master this skill, you'll be able to communicate your thoughts and feelings with greater accuracy and nuance. Let's jump right into it. Before we delve into how to express them, it's essential to understand what mixed feelings and ambivalence mean. Having mixed feelings about something means you feel more than one emotion towards it at the same time. On the other hand, ambivalence is the state of having simultaneous and conflicting reactions, beliefs, or feelings towards something or someone. To express mixed feelings, we often use qualifiers. Qualifiers are words or phrases that modify or limit the meaning of another word, adding a sense of ambiguity or uncertainty. They are the secret to showing you're not entirely sure, or that you have mixed feelings about a topic. Some examples include words like, kind of, sort of, maybe, perhaps, quite, somewhat, and, in a way. Let's see how we can use qualifiers in our speech to express ambivalence. 1. Kind of, and, sort of. These qualifiers are often used to indicate a mild degree of something. Example, I'm kind of excited about the concert, or, she's sort of angry at him. 2. Maybe, and, perhaps. These words show a level of uncertainty or indecision. Example, I maybe should have called him, or, we perhaps ought to take a break. 3. Quite, somewhat, fairly. These are used to suggest that something is true to a certain extent. Example, the movie was quite interesting, or, I'm somewhat busy today. 4. In a way. This phrase is often used to show that something is true in one sense, but not completely. Example, in a way, you are right. Remember, the use of these qualifiers can express varying degrees of ambivalence. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to use these in your daily conversations. And that's it for today, language learners. Hopefully, you've learned a new way to enhance your English communication skills by expressing mixed feelings and ambivalence. Remember, language is all about expressing your thoughts and emotions accurately, and qualifiers play a big role in that. Keep practicing and keep learning. Until next time, happy language learning.